Okay. Alright, my review on this. It's a Top Don. And it's a code scanner. Troubleshoot like, electro like electronic parts on your vehicle. Um, uh, talk about autofocus. There you go. It, it's smartened up now. Talk about smartphone. Alright. But anyways. It's, uh, it's a really good scanner. It's supposed to be at least. Uh, I think it is. As what I've used it for. Now I haven't have had any codes. Like uh, the mid light milf. Mif, mif light. Whatever it is. Um. I don't know. I'm saying that wrong totally. But it's if your check engine light comes on, malfunction, some kind of ignition malfunction, something, I don't know. But if that comes on and you use this to di diagnose what the problem is, okay. Well, when I got this scanner, instead of trying it out first, I went and updated it right away. Well, when I updated it, I don't know if the card in it was bad to begin with or what, but I went ahead and updated it, and I noticed that when I went to scan, I got hooked to the computer right now, so it'll come on, but I'm going to show you all. Okay, scan is at the top. Say scan. Well, when I went to scan, I couldn't use it. Like, I'd hit OK, and that would not come up. It would bring up a error, a hint error. It says hint at the top of the air, and it would say something about, I don't know, seeing my dealer, uh, an illegitimate, uh, I don't know, something about, I'd have to go see my dealer because it was an illegitimate copy or something, I don't know. But anyways, so what I did to get the screen to come up, if you have this problem with this, this here, I got a hold of support, and... They talk, They walked me through a bunch of stuff, but I think the guy that I was, like, in touch with was, like, I don't know, Japanese, Korean, uh, I don't know, like, he knew English, like, pretty good, kind of well, but, like, he said it wouldn't work my t my particular truck, I don't know, maybe he was busy and tired, I, I don't know, just didn't want to deal with it, so he said, you know, whatever. It won't work with your truck instead, so I'm like, no, it it works. It'll work for a car or a truck. I don't know why they would just say it would work for the top cars and not your truck. I mean, I, I don't know, but I fixed it. I got it working, and what I had to do is I'm gonna show you. All right. You have to download the software from topdon.us, okay? And it's called Top Don Update. It looks like this. Okay, well, when you put it in update mode, there's going to be two buttons. There's going to be device upgrade, and there's going to be uh, restore. Okay, well, he told me to restore it and then to update it, and that should fix it. Well, I did multiple things okay i didn't try update first because i had an error come up and it said that uh at windows asked me if i want to scan the card to fix it well then it would scan it and it said it, it couldn't find no problems and it was fixed okay so i started thinking well maybe the card's bad maybe that's the whole problem why this thing ain't reading it so i decided you know what i'm gonna take the card out of it and turn it on, hook it up to the computer, make it come on, and I'm going to try to scan it, see if that's what it is. See if it's looking at the card for all the stuff. Well, when I did that, it said it couldn't read the card. I said, well, ha, huh, it's got to be the card that's bad. I was going to go out and buy a new card and update and all that. But instead, I was like, you know what, before I do that, I'll just go ahead and reformat the card. Well, I didn't know... It, what it was formatted as, NTFS, or if it was formatted to FAT, or FAT32. I didn't know, and it was too late. I'd already formatted it, 
so I could scan the card because uh, to check it for cluster errors or um, damaged packets or whatever. And so I had to format it. So I format it to NTFS. Okay, well, when I put all the stuff back on it, I didn't update it. All I did was I copied it and saved it to my hard drive, so that way it, it still took a while, but it I actually I think it would have been quicker just to download the updates and put it on the card. So, um, when I put it all on the card, it didn't work. Like, I tried to get the device to read it, and it, it wouldn't work. So I said, well, crap. That was a waste of time. So I got tired, and I fell asleep, and woke back up, and I said, I'll try it again. So what I did is I formatted it to FAT32 this time. FAT32. And then I went ahead and... I restored the device, and there's two versions. I tried the top one. It was like 7, STU 7 something. I tried that one. I did that one, and it put the SK and two I's, SK2 folder on the card with firmware and help, and there's probably a few other files in there too that it put it on there. Well, when I did that, then I went ahead and updated the card through this program, and then uh, when I did this, the card was already in the unit. I was using the reader as a thumb drive, so to speak. But you got to put it in uh, update mode when you do that. And I updated it through that. Well, when I did that, then uh, I, I uh, what I did is I went through down here to the control mod or uh, to the control panel. And I told it to eject it, you know, safely. And then it gave me the message that I could safely um, eject the module. So I went ahead and I unplugged it. Because you got to tell Windows first before you just go. And I think that was my problem. I think when I updated it last time, I just yanked it out instead of telling it to. And it corrupted the, the memory disk. So when it did that, I had to reformat it to fix it. Uh, the corrupted the corrupted disk or whatever. Well, now it works. Now I get I get to this part. So I haven't tried checking it in there yet because I don't have no faults or anything. And you can also clear the faults with this, and it'll, it'll. That's why I needed this part here, not to clear the faults, but because this thing will also check your um, like if you have airbags or uh, ABS uh, lights on your dash that come on or anything, this thing will check it. And that's why I needed to get into this part was so I could select my Ford F-150 and all that to get to it. And with, if you got a Ford, it's located, because they don't locate under Ford on this, it's located under USA Ford. Right here. That's where it's located. And then you hit Diagnose, and it'll go ahead and check your... Uh, truck for those problems uh, but that's how you fix it if you have that problem with the problem with this unit if you buy this unit and you hook it up and you update it and you yank the cord out not while it's updating but after it's done updating and this thing here tells you to go ahead and it'll give you a message to go ahead and uh re reboot the unit and the only way to reboot it is take unplug that cord right here from your laptop or from the unit, which is right here, and plug it back in. But when I did that, they, it corrupted the drive, which it don't come with a manual. It does, but it don't. It's not very informal manual, and it don't tell you that you got to tell the OS first that it's safe to unplug the unit. So I hope that helps somebody. If you can't get it to work, just format the drive to FAT32, and then download that Top Don program, update program, from topdon.us, and then go ahead and restore it, the unit. And that's going to put all the original files back on it. Like I said, there's two, when you put in the serial number and you hit restore, there's going to be two things that's going to have you to select. It'll be one or the other. And I did the top one, which was... Like I said, STU 7-something. I did that one. 
and that puts the original files back on the card that it came with. And then I went ahead and updated it. I told it to update. And uh, it worked. It got me to the, through the scan feature, which got me to here. So, again, I hope that works for y'all if you got this product here. Mine's the OBD Can Elite. They also have a plus version that just does the diagnosing of the codes. It, don't, it won't do airbags or ABS. But the Elite version does both. And there is a price difference. For this one that I got, it was $128, I think. And the Plus is a heck of a lot cheaper. I, I don't know. I can't remember the price for it. But I got the Elite because I've also got airbags. And I wanted to check those if something were to happen with my airbags. Passenger and driver's side. So, I hope that helps. I'll see y'all later, and y'all have a good day. God bless. Bye.